All right, folks, so we have a lot on the desk today. Uh, we have a lot going on. We are going to do a capacity test of this Ampere Time uh, Life Po 4. It's a lithium iron battery, uh, 12 volts, 12 amp hours. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna hook it up to some equipment and we're gonna see how it uh, how it does. In the video that I did yesterday, I built this adapter kit to go from these F2 terminals to this uh, Anderson power pole connector, just to make this all easier. And this is probably the, the way I'll use it moving forward. So if you want, you can check that out. Uh, what I want to show you is, is that I had this charging. I had it hooked up to a, uh, a PSU or a UPS. I'm not sure what you call it. That was putting out 14.4 volts and uh, this drew current up till a certain time and then it stopped. So what I want to do is I want to hook up this voltmeter. Um, it's actually a multimeter that has a voltmeter function. I'm trying to get it out of that, uh, out of the reflection there. Uh, and we're going to test the battery voltage now. And what you're seeing there is it's at 13.77 uh, volts. So that's what we're going to use to start our test and we're going to see what we get. Now, in order to do this test, we're going to use this device. Um, and this is supposedly a Maker Fabs. It might be a knockoff. I got it off of Amazon uh, about a year ago, but what this is is basically a load. So it just draws current until the current is expired. Now this, this um, Ampere Time battery is 12 volts. And so we're going to discharge this at um, 0.2C. And that uh, is uh, 2.4 amp hours is what we're going to discharge this at, or 2.4 amps. Um, that is a general uh, rule of thumb to use 20% of the battery's capacity as part of your draw. It's a nice low draw that should give you accurate results. Uh, one of the things that we're going to do is we're also going to connect this PowerWorks meter in line, kind of as a uh, fail safe or a double check to this device. Now, will this impact the testing? Maybe. Uh, the other thing that we have here is a cable that I made some time ago that has a fuse in it. So this is all going to be fused. So let me get this set up. Uh, I'll come back and then uh, we'll get the test started. Okay, so what we have is the battery is coming, the power is coming out of the battery and it's going into the fuse cable, which is wrapping around to the PowerWorks meter. And so here you can see the PowerWorks meter showing us 8 point, I'm sorry, 13.82 volts. Um, there is no current coming out of the battery uh, as we speak. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug this in. This is the load. And what I should do is I should just turn this down real quick so it's not drawing any current. But uh, what I want to do is I want to come over here and I'm going to push the reset button. And so what this does is it resets any metrics that I had. So we're starting here with zero, 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 zero. Now, in theory, if we're going to be pulling 20% out of this battery every hour, this should last five hours. I'm not sure how long this test is going to take because I haven't done it with this battery before. So we're going to find that out now. So here we have our meter from PowerWorks, which is a little hard to read on the screen. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by turning this up and creating a draw on the battery. And this is my coarse control and this is my fine control. So I'm going to drop this down to as close to 2.4 as I can get it. There we go. 2.42. Turn it down a little bit. I'm not going to mess with it too much. That's close enough for me. Uh, so when I take a look at this, uh, you can see here that it looks like we have a, we have a, uh, a draw 2.43 amps. Now this is going to give us our cumulative. So I'm not sure what happened there, but it looked like, uh, it looks like I had a failure where my camera froze as well as the microphone. Uh, so I'm assuming that there was some kind of electro something or other that caused a little bit of an issue. But uh, we were taking a look at the PowerWorks meter, and you can see 2.4 amps is being drawn. Here's our cumulative power here, and then our battery voltage is what we're interested in. So we're just going to let this run. We're going to come back when it's done, and we're going to talk about the results. So here is the Ampere Time website and the product page specifically for the battery that we're testing. I'm going to go ahead and remove me, which probably makes some folks happy. So it's a little bit easier for us to see what's going on here. So I'll include a link to this below. Um, but here you go, 12 volt, 12 amp hour. 
153.6 watt hours. And so that's what we're going to really be uh, concerned about in our test and see if we hit that. I got mine off of Amazon and I want to say it was like $72, $73. Here it says it's $69.99, but it's sold out. Uh, I'm not going to go over all of this stuff. I'll include a link below where you can read it. But this talks about your lifetime and 4,000 cycles and all the quality and all that kind of stuff. But I just wanted to kind of kind of show this. So I noticed the display was a little difficult to read on the camera. So what we have here is the display uh, where I took a picture with my phone and you can see what's going on here. What I want to do is I kind of want to highlight down in the lower left hand corner. You can see two semicolon 0528. That is the time that the test has been running. And 25 degrees Celsius is the heat or the temperature on the actual load itself. You can see the batteries reading at 12.7 volts and we are pulling current at 2.4 amps. Okay, I took this picture right as some data on the screen was changing, but I wanted to talk a little bit about it. I'm not gonna continue to bore everybody to tears, so apologies in advance. But if you take a look at the time, we are just over two and a half hours. Now, if you remember, this is a 12 amp hour battery and we are doing our test at 2C, which would be 20% of capacity. Uh, what you do is you take 12 amps, multiply it by 0.2, and that gives you 2.4 amps. So we should be drawing 20% per hour, which would give us a five hour runtime for this test. So we're at two and a half hours, the official halfway mark. And if you take a look at the amps uh, pulled from the battery, we are at 6.09. So we are on target to hit 12 amps uh, coming out of this battery. That's it. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, and we're done. And we learned a couple of things. Uh, the first one is this probably doesn't show up so well on the screen, so I'm going to roll a picture in. But if you take a look, uh, we're at zero volts, zero amps. Nothing's coming out of the battery at this point. Test ran for four hours and 50 minutes. And it looks like we got... 11.58 amps out of the battery and so that's not the 12. the problem that i got is this died so this was supposed to tell us how close this was or not now what i can tell you is that through the course of the test this rated a higher amperage than this was it enough to make the 4.2 uh, or 0 0.42 amps of difference i don't know does this draw half of an amp over five hours maybe i i, I just don't know so to me, this is close enough. I'm not upset by it. I'm not put off by it. Um, I know that this number is probably a little bit higher because this did consume something. I don't know what it consumed. This was the first discharge here. Now, maybe this battery got discharged at the factory. I, I don't know. But uh, the results are what they are. You can make your own decisions on these. Um, I'm not upset that I have this battery. It seems fine to me. But uh, whatever. So if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and post them below and I'll do my best to respond. Thanks everybody.